everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the extended single crochet stitch, which is the pattern that you see here in front of you. You can see that it is quite pretty and it's simply a single crochet stitch with a little extra step into it and I'm going to show you that soon. It's the same on the front and the back and the benefit of these extended stitches is that you get a piece of fabric that is a little bit more versatile and drapey uh, in a project. So that's the benefit. Uh, it also gives it a nice variation as well. So today I'm going to be using the Karen Times Pantone yarn as well as a six millimeter crochet hook. Let's learn how to crochet the extended single crochet stitch. Now if you are new to my channel or uh, you've been here but may not have yet already, I invite you to subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with free stitch tutorials such as the one that you see here and also free crochet patterns. So our stitch today, the extended single crochet stitch, it is worked in rows and you can have any multiple of stitches for this pattern. All you're going to want to do is add an extra two stitches for your foundation chain. So today I'm going to chain 15 plus two, so I'll have a total of 17 stitches. There's my 15 and 16 and 17 for my extra two. So what you're going to do is you're going to begin working in the third chain from your hook. Okay, so into your third chain from your hook, you're going to en uh, insert your hook into that third chain. You're going to yarn over as you would a normal single crochet and pull it up. You'll have two loops on your hook. You're then going to yarn over and pull through only one loop on your hook. You're then going to yarn over and pull through the final two loops on your hook. That is the extended single crochet stitch. It's as easy as that. I'll show you one more time. You're going to insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through that first loop with two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two more. You can work uh, that stitch all the way across to the end of your chain. So insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through two. And it's going to make your single crochet stitch just a notch higher. So it's about the height of a half double crochet stitch. So go ahead and work all the way to the end of your foundation chain and then we are going to turn our work. Now once you come to the end of your row, your foundation chain, normally when you worked a single crochet stitch, you would chain one and turn your work. For the extended, we're actually going to chain two and then turn your work. Your chain two will start, uh, will count as a stitch, so you're going to work your next stitch into the next one. So then you can work your extended single crochet stitches all the way across. Just remember that when you reach the end of your row that you do work your final stitch into the top of your starting chain two. Otherwise your edges are going to curve uh, and you will drop stitches. So that's all there is to working this extended single crochet stitch. Thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial. And uh, once again, don't forget to subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.